welcome to the Cotton Forest. My name is Uwe Schirmerich. Until recently I was executive head of the forestry office Rhein Sieg Erft, which covers most of the Cologne Bonn region. Today I would like to present to you how we operate integrated forest management in an urban environment. The forestry office manages 23,000 hectares of state forest in this region. It's a state forestry surveillance authority, which also advises private and municipal forests. So all in all, there are 62,000 hectares of forest in the region. Here we can see forester Sebastian Korintenberg, who is responsible for 650 hectares of forest owned by the city of Bonn. Cottenforst, with a size of about 3,500 hectares, is situated next to Bonn on the left bank of the River Rhine. Its biggest part is owned by the federal land of North Rhine-Westphalia, but also by private owners and by the city of Bonn. The area of our forestry office is marked as urban, with its population of 2.4 million. You find mostly deciduous forests here with about 20% of conifers. Here we are taking a look at the forest office of the city of Bonn and a part of its staff. It is obvious that integrated forest management can only be performed with the help of a well-qualified staff. It demands a lot of planning because you have to consider the different forest functions on each side. They are natural refuges, recreational areas and places of wood production with different focal points. We have a clear idea of what our forest should look like, namely featuring trees of different species and ages in one location. We call it a permanent forest in German, Dauerwald. So what does integrated forest management mean? Basically, it considers the various forest functions in a specific area without neglecting any one of them. This often leads to conflicts and there are many possible solutions. What always matters is the forest stability in the face of climate change. How important this is? You can see here the loss of a considerable amount of spruce and cotton forest by the end of the past three extremely dry and warm years. They became victims of the bark beetle. In order for the natural regeneration to be mixed and abundant, game management is urgently needed. Too many browsing deer make a mixed natural regeneration impossible. They put the future existence of the forest into question. We have removed most of the dead spruce in order to be able to continue the cultivation and development of the site. If you leave all the dead trees standing, you can only enhance natural regeneration, which is unfortunately not sufficient for the establishment of a climate-stable forest for the future. The harvested wood stores CO2 as a wooden product, for example in the beam. Large areas needed to be reforested. For this, you use above all the natural regeneration of a mixture of species. Since not all tree species will establish themselves on their own in a site, you will also have to plant trees here and there. The high tree stumps are also interesting here. The film shows in forestry every step also demands ecological thinking. High tree stumps are an important deadwood reservoir. Here you can see a few squat plantings which can form the basic framework of an oak forest with hornbeam and lime combined with natural regenerated pine tree species such as birch and pine. As you can see here, a nature oriented integrated forest management does not exclude the use of wood. In our society, wood is one of the most important renewable raw material which we can produce sustainably and in harmony with nature. 
In addition, the usage of wood in the forest also means steering the forest ecosystem into the desired direction. Thus, you can, as a forester, promote, for example, the mixture of forest stocks, create different situations of light and shadow, and ecological niches. Until now, wood is moreover the most important resource of income in the forest companies, because there is no financial compensation for ecosystem services to this day. In the cotton forest, you can also find highly mechanized methods of harvesting wood. Particularly with conifers, harvesters can work much faster and more safely than workers with chainsaws. However, their use must be limited to skidding roads to protect the soil. In cotton forest, we have a distance of at least 40 meters between the skidding roads. Integrated forest management is not self-explanatory. It has to be communicated over and over again. In some cases, it's appropriate to allow citizens to participate in the planning of the forest management because we work in the immediate environment. We try to be as considerate as we can when choosing time, site and operating technique. And we try to get people into the forest because a direct view of the work of foresters can change their perception and appreciation of a good forest management. The willingness of all parties to compromise is a prerequisite for a successful multifunctional integrated forest management. Of course, qualified personnel are indispensable. People who know, for example, how and where to fell a tree without damaging the natural regeneration too much. Timber harvesting in an urban forest is often criticized. Everyone loves wood products, but it should not be harvested where the dog is taken for its morning walk. Regular information, discussions with groups and individuals and also with the media are necessary in order to promote a better understanding of forest management. The harvest of timber does not clash with nature protection if you take care of ecological relevant structures like deadwood and microhabitats.